Hello, this is the Sanctuary of Hope International Ministries. My name is Lefika Ratlo. We're going to be talking today concerning the dynamics of the spirit, the two natures which are involved when you are talking concerning uh, uh, the two natures involved concerning a man. There's the one who's made spiritually alive and there's one who's made spiritually who is spiritually dead in Christ Jesus. There are two types of men. A man who is made spiritually alive in Christ Jesus and a man who is spiritually dead in Christ. There are two natures. One is born again, one is not born again. He says, Yet among the mature we do impart a wisdom that is not of the wisdom of this age nor of the rulers of this age who are doomed to pass away. But we impart a secret hidden wisdom of God which God decreed before the ages of glory. Not of the rulers of the age understood this, for if they understood this, they would have crucified the Lord Jesus Christ. So, so we're talking about the spirit and the spirit man and what it, and the implications of that. So if you have two men, one who's spiritually made of life and one who's spiritually dead, they, the Bible says, for God is uh, in 1 Corinthians 2 verse 11 For no one knows a person's thoughts except the spirit of that person which is in him So also no one comprehends the thoughts of God except that spirit of a spirit of Except the spirit of God It says no one knows the thoughts of a man except the spirit that is within him The spirit that is within you determines what is happening The type of knowledge that you are able and not able to receive if you are spiritually made alive, you receive the things of the Spirit. You receive the, the, the things of God are made plain unto you and you are able to understand the things of the Spirit. But if you are spiritually dead, you cannot attain nor understand the things of the Spirit. They are spiritually discerned. As it is written uh, in verse 14 of 1 Corinthians 2 verse 14 the natural person does not accept the things of the spirit of god for they are folly to him and he is not able to understand them because they are spiritually discerned they are spiritually made plain unto men if you cannot understand the things of the bible or they understand the things that are preached to you you need to check yourself to see if you're in salvation because it is by the understanding that you have been made spiritually alive that you comprehend the things of God. For if you receive Jesus as your Lord and your Savior, if you receive Jesus as your Lord and your Savior, you receive the Holy Spirit. And this Holy Spirit is the one that directs you, leads you, and He is your helper that makes the things of God plain and understand and, and, and understandable or able to comprehend to you. So there are two men. Two types of people are spiritually made alive and spiritually dead. The reason why the spiritually dead does not comprehend the things of the spiritually alive is because the Bible says that the devil has put a, a, a thing on their face. He has dimmed their eyes so that, they, that they, they, can, they may not see the hope of the word and come to salvation. The devil has blinded the eyes of them that cannot comprehend the things of God. Because they are spiritually discerned. For the Spirit searches everything, even the depth of God. The Spirit of God. It searches everything, even the depth of God. If so, if you have not the Spirit of God, you cannot search the depths of God. You cannot go deeper into the things of God. For these things are only made plain by the Spirit of the living God. That, come, that helps you understand the word. That helps you understand the scripture. So you've been in church all day. You've been in church all your life. But I, do, do you understand what is being said? Or do you just memorize it and then toss it out when you're finished? The people in the word, the people in the Bible, the people in the church need to understand and check themselves. But this is the spiritual wisdom that is imparted unto us. It says, yet among the mature we do impart a wisdom, although it is not a wisdom of this age, it is of the rulers of this age that are doomed to pass away. This wisdom, is, and, and here it says, and we, we do impart it in words, not taught by human wisdom, but taught by the spirit, interpreting spiritual truths to them that are spiritual. This wisdom is taught by words. When you're preaching, it is taught in those words. When you're preaching, it's taught by the word of God. Not only the word of God, but the word that is being taught. So you've been in church all your life. You just memorize scripture. Memorize, but do you understand the dynamics of the spirit? Do you know that you are spiritually alive? Or are you spiritually dead and just in the church? This is why people and their relationships with Christ tend to be dimmed. 
they tend to be less than. Their relationship with God is to be less than. It's all just church and religion to them. For they have just been raised in the church. But have they understood that you need to be spiritually alive to understand the things of the spirit? You need to be spiritually alive to understand the things of the spirit. When you receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior, it is not merely just receiving Jesus as your Lord and Savior. There is a regeneration. There is a newness of life. You are born again. And God who helps you, the Holy Spirit, He is the one that helps you understand and comprehend the things of the Word. This wisdom is imparted. This wisdom is imparted in words not taught by human wisdom. It's not a matter of what is taught or preached, but it's a matter of the spirit behind that. It is not taught by human wisdom, but it is taught by the spirit of God. He uses man as a vessel, man as a vehicle to, to get to where he wants in the life of the saints. Do you know Jesus? Do you know that you're spiritually made alive? Or are you spiritually dead and just in the church playing religion? Check yourself. There are two types of men. One who's spiritually alive and one who's spiritually dead. A spiritually dead person cannot comprehend the things of the, the spirit because he is spiritually dead. He does not have the spirit of God. But him who is spiritually alive can comprehend the things of God and he grabs and lays hold of them and they are treasure to him. So guys, I'd just like to summarize by saying that there are two natures in Christ Jesus. There, there are two natures in the dynamics of the spirit man. There's two natures. There's the one who's spiritually alive, one who's spiritually dead. And there, these determine whether or not you're able to comprehend the knowledge of God. If you are just in the church and you're unable to comprehend the knowledge of God, receive, go back and receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior and ask for the Holy Spirit to fill you. You will be able to comprehend this knowledge. You will not just be playing religion in church, but you'll be able to understand that I've been made alive. This newness of life and this relationship with Christ helps me understand His Word. And this wisdom that is imparted in words, I can understand it and comprehend it. Now the Bible, the word of God is now living and not just literature, but the very word, the very water, the very water that I need thirst for. I am what the Lord says. Confess that. Because if you confess that, <laughs> if you confess that, You'd, you'd also understand that you'd be made spiritually alive. I am who the Lord says I am. <laughs> so guys, there is hope found in Jesus Christ. There's hope found in the Lord. May you be blessed by this teaching. It helps a lot to, to understand who you are spiritually made. It helps a lot to understand that you've been made alive in Christ Jesus. That the nature of Adam is died is made done with because, because of the regeneration that comes with Christ Jesus, believing in him, his death, burial, and resurrection. So, yes, be blessed.